I'm Ellie Cantor with Bond Securecom. Bond has been operating in the greater Toronto area for over 40 years. Hi, I'm Jordan Schwartz, account executive at Bond Securecom. We're here at the Harbour Plaza condominiums. This is actually three buildings, two residential and one commercial, with one underground parking garage for the three buildings. There's a commercial parking at P1 and then uh, residence parking underneath. This building has a unique security system by ICT. There are 225 cameras and over 75 access control points. The cameras are fully integrated into the ICT system. We've got every suite has a security, a security panel as well as water sensors. Let's go tour the building and take a look at how the security system works and how everything's integrated. We are here at the central lobby into the building where the building is split into two. On the right side, we have one tower. On the left side, we have the other tower. On each individual side, we have a concierge desk, which manages that particular tower. Being a central lobby, with the request to exit motion to prevent unauthorized entry, we have a telephone entry, which allows visitors to be let in and buzzed up to the individual floor as per what has been set in the parameters for the access control. As residents come to the building, they have a simple and easy access into the building. They present their fob on the ICT reader and they're in. And that is the only way to gain authorized access with the exception of people being buzzed in by the telephone entry or concierge. The second concierge desk is located over here and it controls this part of the building. So here we are behind one of the concierge desks where the control of the building takes place. Behind here, the concierge has access to all the cameras that are related to them, whether they are in the common spaces or in the individual spaces that belong to their building. They have their intercom system, which allows them to communicate between the two concierges as well as directly to any of the door stations or panic stations throughout the underground or the perimeter of the building. And on the other screen, we're running the ICT protege system which gives them status and control of all the doors, credentials, duress stations, water leak detection system, everything comes back to one pane of glass. Once a resident has booked a space from management and they have access, whether it's with their mobile credential or with their FOB, they're able to come up to the unit, present their FOB, and they're able to enter the lounge. All, everything is covered by cameras. So any area that is being utilized, for example, there's a camera there that's currently seeing us entering the room, and that is stored on the NVR systems that are permanently archiving all the information and making it available. As well, the building has two concierge desks. Each concierge desk has access to the cameras that are related to their individual building, as well as all the common spaces. If you notice, I forgot to shut the door. That triggered the door ajar function, which is now alerting concierge that somebody forgot to shut the door, and as soon as I shut it, it stops. That prevents somebody from walking out and forgetting to secure the door. From the amenity spaces, you also have access onto the roof top patios, amenities that are outdoors, as well, you need access on your fob to be able to get out there. In order to prevent unauthorized entry into any of the amenity spaces or any security rooms like the bicycle rooms, locker rooms, any areas that are sensitive, the ICT systems allow you to integrate with a request to exit motion detectors, such as the one you'll see above the door. This allows the functionality to the system to allow to detect unauthorized entry called door forced open. If a person in any way gains access not using the FOB, the system will alert concierge immediately that someone has entered the area without proper authorization. At that point, once they get the alarm, they're able to respond to it and investigate and deal with the situation before it gets worse. So let's go and we'll take a look at the rest of the building, the elevator access and all the control centers that control and manage the system. So now we're gonna to head towards the elevator 
and we'll show you that how the elevator is controlled and what method is required in order to get around the building. One is able to call the elevator from any floor, but in order for it to go anywhere but the ground floor, you require credentials that have been pre-authorized to gain you access onto the proper floors. So we're going into the elevator. The elevator is able to get us to, in this building, some of the floors. Whoop. You might as well come in. Sure. But in order for it to go anywhere and travel, there's a card reader that we've hidden behind the plexiglass. And once you do that, you're able to make your floor selection and go to the floor that's required and you've been authorized to go to. Once you get onto the floor, oops, you have access into the suites. In this particular building, we're not utilizing electronic door locks. In some buildings, we introduce electronic door locks that allow you to use the same credential to gain access into the suite. Once you enter the suite, we have a keypad inside on the wall that is an ICT suite security pad, which allows the resident to have full control over their suite security. Anytime anybody breaches the door, it alerts security concierge desk immediately, or one of the functions of the ICT system being an integrated intrusion system, we're also able to have the resident tied to a monitoring station that will immediately get the alert, alert concierge or dispatch police or guard services. Once we enter the individual suite, we have the door contact that is concealed inside the frame. And we have our keypad, which allows you to have individual pin codes for each resident. This will record in the access control system who disarmed the system, when it was disarmed, and when it was armed. So at any point, if there's an incident, one has a record in the event log to go back and see when the issue occurred, who armed or forgot to arm the system, which made it fail. To mitigate against water damage, during construction, Bond installs water leak detection throughout the building and we activate the monitoring as the building is pressurized. Once the building becomes occupied and concierge desks and security guards are available on site, we're able to switch the temporary system that we install and amalgamate it with the ICT access control system that's implemented into the building. This allows us to not have water damage during construction when the building is not occupied as well as monitor and detect early any water leak detect uh, issues that occur in the building so you don't end up with a pool and huge amount of damage. Let us show you where the sensor is located and how we gain access to it. Each suite has one. Some of the bathrooms have it. Mechanical rooms on the upper mechanical floors have water leak detection. All of that ties back into the access control system to pinpoint exactly where water leak has been detected before major damage occurs. Each unit has a fan coil unit in the suite. That is part of the heating system where water collects and can occasionally overflow. What we do is we install a water leak detector from the other side through an opening like this where our technicians are able to gain access to service it in case a malfunction occurs. That is also how sometimes when a really minor leak is detected and they can't prove exactly where it is, they're able to open it, take a look inside and prove that there is a water leak that has been detected. And then from there they can figure out where it is originating from. The outdoor amenities vary. Some areas have green roofs where people can just go and entertain. There's areas with an outdoor fireplace. They add outdoor furniture, barbecues, so families can have family get-togethers. And to keep the kids occupied, they have rooms that are children play lounges that allow them to have the children keep busy and do things while everybody else is entertaining. All these areas are covered by video surveillance to be able to see what occurred and allow concierge desks to monitor all the activities for any activities that are not welcome in the building. Here we are at the pedestal on the exterior of the building that allows residents 
with vehicles or with bicycles to gain access with a mobile credential or with their FOB and gain access into the underground. Once they present their FOB, the arms will go up, the garage door will come up, and they're able to enter the building. From here also, you're able to contact concierge upon entry. One of the unique things, because this is a twin building, rather than installing two separate intercom units that allow you to go to each individual concierge, we've modified this unit and made it a custom unit with two buttons. Each one will automatically direct a call to the appropriate concierge to verify the visitor or deal with the resident's concern. Vehicle enters the underground. They go through a multitude of cameras, capturing any damage that is on the vehicle, as well as capturing their license plate and the driver for easier identification when an incident occurs. Since visitors are having to park in a commercial parking spot, once they enter the lobby, they are, have a telephoned intercom that allows them to connect with concierge to gain access. But residents, once again, are able to use a fob and get in quickly. Let's go look at some of the equipment rooms that are located in the building. All the mechanical and electrical rooms in the building are secured with the access control. Anybody gaining access is immediately recorded in the event log and any unauthorized access, once again, alerts security of a breach. Let's go in here and have a look what we got. Come on in. Don't mind the mess. Mechanical rooms always have mess. Once we are here, we have a sampling of one of the control panels by ICT. Throughout the building, we have what is called distributed architecture. Different parts of the buildings have gathering points that bring in all the nearest equipment into a gathering point and to the appropriate ICT controllers that manage the system. We have a system rack which controls all the video, intercom, access control with NVRs and servers that allow you to fully manage and control the building. Here we are in the underground garage where we have external bike storage that's open to the use of visitors as well as residents if they want to. And each area is covered by cameras to fully keep track of what goes on down here to make sure the vandalism is reduced. Each resident has a garage remote control made by ICT. It has a multi-function remote which allows them to have multiple functions. One of the functions allows them to gain access into the private residential parking garage which separates the P1 level from the re private residential parking. Once you enter the residential parking, that same remote has a panic button on it. A person that feels threatened or not feeling well and needs assistance, they can press the remote which transmits an individual unique code onto the access control system by ICT, allows the concierge immediately to know who pressed the fob, where they pressed the fob, the region of the underground parking and the level, and they're able to respond to it immediately. This function allows them to respond to the appropriate place and render assistance in a quick manner. So when a developer develops such a complicated complex, such as this multi-building complex, we have a commercial tower, we have twin residential towers, a retail component where there is a public gym, public parking, access to the Toronto underground path, secure underground parking, a lot of complexity is in this building. It requires them to work with a reliable partner that is able to lead them to the latest in technology that is not just the bleeding edge, but the leading edge technology that has been proven and work with partners that they can totally depend on and that will stand behind their product. Bond has been doing this for over 40 years. We get involved very early in the design process with the developer. 
We come up with the systems of choice, what functionality the owner wants to have, how they're going to utilize it, the demographic of the building and who the residents will be. And one of the tasks that Bond has is to choose the right partner to work with in the selection of the systems, the selection of the distributor who will support us all the way along. For that, we've worked with Inaxis for many years. We're able to depend on them. They're there to support our technicians. When a problem occurs, we can work together with the engineering team to make sure that we are able to solve any issues, but also often customization is required or we need to tweak something. One of the beautiful things of working with a good partner is when a developer has a unique requirement, it's not just a yes or no answer. Let us talk to our engineering team. They're able to modify the current solution and come up with a custom application that allows us to do a more specific need. And that's where ICT comes in. A very flexible, modern platform able to adapt itself to all the different integration that we require, whether it's integrating with the duress and panic system, the video surveillance system, the parcel delivery systems, visitor management. ICT is able to integrate that and allow us to fully control a building, whether it's a hardwired door access control or whether it's a wireless electronic door lock. We make it all one large system. Everything works in a unified environment all on an IP backbone. As new projects are developed and are coming to the market, let us be your partner. We will work with you on the full selection of features and functions. We'll work with you on creating the design and drawings for the electrical engineers to put the symbols on the electrical drawings for tender documents. We'll work with you on selecting the best video surveillance, access control. We work with you and become part of your team. Call Bond SecureCom. You can check us out on our website. We have a lot of different information available. You can contact us with any questions that you may have on a specific need. We're located and based out of Toronto, and we cover the greater Toronto area, and we go further on an as-need basis. Contact Bond SecureCom for all your security and communications needs.